Beijing today, President Obama said China has helped pull the United States out of the recession by importing U.S. products. Celia Hatton tells us there's a whole new generation of Chinese consumers ready to shop till they drop. Sam's Club is drumming up business in the southern Chinese city of Guangzhou. This store opening marks the 173rd in China for parent company Walmart in just 13 years. The enthusiasm for spending money here is pulling this U.S. company and many more through the global recession. It's American Products Day. The store's 10,000 customers are celebrating, snapping up U.S. brands from vitamins to laundry detergent. Clearly, capitalism's a hit in communist China. Older generations still save half their paychecks, but that trend's reversing as a nation of young shopaholics is born. Salaries for young urban Chinese have almost tripled in less than a decade, from $858 to $2,300 a month. But people in their 20s and 30s save next to nothing. Instead, they're on a spending spree. The best indicator? The number of credit cards is exploding from 13 million cards in 2005 to 180 million now. American businesses are riding high on the buying boom thanks to people like Zhao Mengyao. She drives a Buick, chats on an iPhone, eats a McDonald's and wears Nike. Brands are really important to me. And then I look at the price tag, she explains. It seems that every major American company is digging its way into China. Caterpillar's had a bumpy ride because of the U.S. recession, but in China, its revenues have grown from $700,000 in 2005 to $2.6 billion this year. The NBA's 30,000 Chinese retail spots are selling 60% more merchandise this year than last. Nike entered China early back in 1980, and now it's the country's number one sports brand. Revenues went up 22% in China this year, in comparison to just 2% in the U.S. KFC and Pizza Hut are also feeding Chinese appetites faster than ever before. They're opening up one or two restaurants a day in China. Oh, we think this is the, uh, the best uh, growth opportunity in the 21st century, and maybe even beyond. But perhaps no one's as thankful for China's big spenders as General Motors. The company faced bankruptcy earlier this year in the U.S., but it's never been hotter here, where first-time drivers are still excited to get behind the wheel of a brand-new American car. Still, experts caution it's just as hard for U.S. companies to succeed in China as it is back home. If you are ready to operate in an environment that is chaotic, that is brutal, but that has real opportunity, that's when you should come over here. But don't come over here with candy corn dreams about some beautiful pot of gold that awaits you here. Getting that pot of gold requires work. But American companies that haven't expanded to China may regret missing out on the great Chinese shopping spree. Celia Hatton, CBS News, Beijing.